The topic of this video is using the math elevator to relate turning points and degrees of polynomial functions. Okay, I want you to do a little bit of imagining with me. I want you to imagine that we have a building, and this building has a floor zero and a floor one and a floor two and so on and so on, and there is an elevator inside this building, but it's a very special elevator. This elevator has two cars within the same elevator shaft. There is a D car and there is a T car. So for example, both of these cars can move up and down, but they can't pass each other. So when the D car is up here on the fourth floor, the T car can move up and down on floor zero, one, two, and three, and so on. And when the T car is on the first floor, the D car can move up and down, but it, can, it can't go any lower and it can't occupy the same space. And so these two cars can move up and down in the same elevator shaft. Not surprisingly, the D car, D for degree, and the T car, T for turning points. So we notice that in this particular elevator shaft, the D is over the T, D over T. This is in alphabetical order. D comes before T in the alphabet, D over T. This tells us the relationship between degrees and turning points of polynomial functions. For example, let's say someone tells you hey, I have a polynomial function and the degree is four. So then that means that the D car is on the first, excuse me, on the fourth floor. I'll say that again. Let's say we have a polynomial function and the degree is four. That means that our uh, D car is on the fourth floor. If you were then asked the question, what is the maximum number of turning points that that particular function could have? You would say that the answer is three. The T car can be here at 0, 1, 2, or 3, but the maximum that it could be would be here at 3. Okay, let's change the problem. Let's say now that the turning point is down here on the second floor, and the question asks you about the degree of the polynomial function. What are all the possible degrees of the polynomial function? Well, d over t, so the degree could be here, or here, or here, or here, and right on up towards infinity. If the question said, what is the least degree, what is the smallest degree that you could have, then the answer to that question would be three. The math elevator is an excellent metaphor for relating the degrees and turning points of polynomials.